guys. I want to share a little something I've been hesitant to say for a while, if you don't mind. Okay, here it goes. I'm starting to like Better Call Saul more than Breaking Bad. I know, crazy talk, right? But really, let's sit and consider this for a second. Is it fair to compare? I don't see why not. As a spin-off prequel set in the same universe about six years earlier, we explore the life of Saul Goodman. Well, not quite. Before his alter ego, he was James Morgan Jimmy McGill, living it up as a small-time lawyer, which let us see gradual changes over time. This brings me to what this show does really well, allowing its characters to grow and slowly but surely get caught up in problematic situations. From Breaking Bad creator Vince Gilligan, along with Peter Gold, the series keeps getting better due to its narrative convergence. Season 1 had the biggest obstacle to overcome, separating itself from the shadow of Breaking Bad's popularity and reputation. I'll admit early on the show was not as interesting or entertaining as its predecessor, partly because of Gilligan's pacing style and suspense buildup. Fans will recall Breaking Bad only got more and more intense as seasons went on, and the same can be said for Better Call Saul. However, themes are also different here, which comes with having a title character of another nature, and Bob Odenkirk is fantastic as Jimmy McGill. He might not have the energy of Saul Goodman yet, but at least serves as a likable, more sympathetic lead than that of Walter White. You're goddamn right. The origins of this series allowed viewers to come to terms with what to expect moving forward, establishing some interesting relationships as well. Season 2 got the ball rolling halfway through, where our characters' motivations truly began to come into fruition. We see Charles, or Chuck McGill, played by Michael McKean, further question his younger brother's ethical practices as a lawyer while battling health issues. Then there's Kimberly, or Kim Wexler, played by Ray Seahorn, the hardworking and ambitious close friend slash love interest of Jimmy. She really comes into her own, and we can only hope she makes it out okay by the series end. Michael Mando plays a pivotal role as well. Known as Ignacio Nacho Varga, he works in his father's shop while being one of the more cunning members of Tuco Salamanca's gang. There must be a reason he never appeared in Breaking Bad. Now for some familiar faces. I'm sure many will recognize old Mike Ehrmantraut. Played by Jonathan Banks, season 3 gives Mike the background we've been waiting for, showing how he became involved with drug dealers. You guessed it, now we're getting spoiled with iconic and memorable Breaking Bad characters such as Hector Salamanca and Spring. There are quite a few more small but important ones I'll leave out, but these guys are of course the real deal. From a storytelling perspective, the advantage of having previous material to reference and build from gives this show layers of connections to draw. So who can enjoy it? Certainly fans of the original series will feel most at home, but I'd say you can start with Better Call Saul first and not feel lost at all. Definitely check out both of them for the full picture. Each season of Saul opens with a black and white scene from the present day. What's up with that? I'm hoping once we're caught up with all of the past, that we eventually see what became of Saul Goodman, or whoever he is now. For those who had a hard time watching Breaking Bad, there's a certain calmness to this show that I've come to appreciate. Better Call Saul is a dynamic exploration of expanded themes and consequences, and that's why this series is a diligent pick. So are you guys fans of Better Call Saul? How does it compare to Breaking Bad? Which do you prefer? My name is Dylan, and if you love entertainment, subscribe to my channel while this video ends, and send me a thumbs up before you go. Thanks for watching, and stay diligent.